Hello! Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Christina. This is Archie and our son, Luchi. In this episode, we will show you Nusa Chinengan and Nusa Nembongan. Good morning! It's day one here in Lusan, Chinenga. Before we start our adventurous day, we headed to Sea Prince Cafe to have our breakfast. This is how the cafe looks like, but during COVID, there's not much customers. We choose the second level so we can see the view, but unfortunately, today is low tide. Down below, you can see some seaweeds drying under the sun. We started taking our order, and while waiting, Archie noticed the cat dozing off in the chair. He started petting it, and the cat seems familiar with people because he don't mind being touched. Our order just came. We ordered me goreng for Luchik because he loves noodles. Since Archie is a vegan, he asked if they can make a vegan satay by replacing chicken with tofu. And for me, I ordered pepes ikan. This is a grilled fish in banana leaf. For our drinks, we have ginger tea, Sprite, and fresh coconut. In 300 meters, your destination will be on the left. We already fueled up with delicious meal, and now it's time for an adventure. Our first stop is the Blue Lagoon. We entered through Cliff Club. There, I'm walking around and happy and excited what this famous Blue Lagoon is about. We just keep walking until we reach the end. Finally! Welcome to Blue Lagoon! Wow! Archie is taking some drone footage and our son fell asleep. So I let him get rest first while he is busy and I'm chilling around here. There are no entrance fee to Blue Lagoon. However, if you want to enjoy a meal or a drink, then pack some cash and head to Cliff Club. This place has become a popular Instagrammable worthy peak because of its truly breathtaking sight. A dramatic rocky cove with the bright blue waves crashing fiercely against limestone walls. We just met a local and he recommend uh as uh, some beach which is suitable uh, for swimming just about five minutes walk from blue lagoon i'm quite surprised that here in nusa limbungan some resort are just open to the public like they completely trust people here like no no crime no stealing so maybe they may, maybe people here are trustworthy because why they will open this right they're not scared that someone may take or might go in here. In Philippines, I can't imagine if they will do this because mostly they will um, lock all the area. In Philippines, more on like um, they value privacy. If this is your pro if this is their property, they will lock it for sure. Yeah, it's hard to imagine when uh, 
the some property just uh, completely empty due to quarantine uh, and it's still open to the public anyone can enter and exit yes pretty surprising okay so this is the place where the local told us to go at first we are skeptic to go inside we try to look for security guard or anyone there but to no avail so we decided to come in and check the beach the territory is quite big, clean, and looks like someone is still managing it. There are several types of cottages here, from a small hut to a bungalow type. The territory of this place is quite big. I think previously before Kavita, a lot of people stay here. And place is actually pretty nice. I, I still surprised that there's no one here. Looks like the beach is over there. Let's walk straight and farther till we reach the end. There's even such a nice swimming pool here with amazing view. Actually, resort is pretty nice. And I surprised that there's no one accommodate now. Just maybe about 50 meters from the beach is a resort but this resort is completely empty there's no even no stuff here it looks honestly like a ghost town that's why we can see that one of the affected during this pandemic those resort those who ha those who have business like these resorts and also some restaurants because see no tourists who will check in now it's completely empty but the view is amazing looks like low tide well actually can like a like a bus here have like a bus mom i think can swim okay we just arrived it looks like low tide here not sure if we can swim but I can see over there the tourists, they are swimming. So, but it's a more like a bath swimming. Not like a real swimming on the ocean, like a bath. And as you can see here is a, like a protection from the big waves. So it should be uh, quite safe even for children to swim. Wow, amazing. Looks like they're doing some seaweed farming here. This is how they do the farming. Meanwhile, my son is still sleeping. He continues his sleep from Blue Lagoon until here to Secret Point. He's still sleeping. Let's check out what this beach has to offer. Archie and I are walking around. Okay, here you go, because as you can see, it's a low tide, so there's a small swimming area just here, like a pool. You can even see like some people swimming here. Unfortunately, it's not so deep, maybe, maybe like this. Yeah, but I think it's uh, very perfect for kids. Unfortunately, our son fell asleep. So maybe we just uh, a bit refreshed because water is quite cooling and outside is very hot. So we just a bit do some uh, refresh and some cooling bath. Come, follow me and let's explore deeper. Here, I'm carefully walking because of the rocks and quite slippery too. There's a cliff here with an opening where the waves touching the rocks creating a dramatic splashes of water. Perfect for Victorial. But then when I saw the waves, I got scared yeah, yeah, to I go should, farther. To. So maybe you go a little bit inside, you want? You go a little bit inside. Man. It should be fine, you just hide on the rocks, you see? There's the rocks here, so it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Archie will just do the pictorial. Here you can see him 
going carefully little bit tough but i think it's worth it especially if you have a brave heart here are the few shots we made But of course, I also have my own pictorial session care of my ever supportive husband. So these are the behind the scenes and how he shipped me. Oh, this should be nice one. This should be nice one. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, like this, like this, yeah. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah, okay, prepare, prepare, oh, up, 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 yeah. Yes, yes, perfect, yeah. We just did some shoots here because not much things to do since it is low tide and we cannot swim. And also, our son is asleep so we just wait for him until he woke up and then we will go to our next destination. Wild parents do shooting for the vlog their son peacefully sleeping a few inches later We just arrived at the place called Devil Tears Just right uh, before sunset It's not hot anymore, very refreshing And this ocean mist Giving you very refreshing And joyful feeling Especially such a hot day And uh, I think it's very blessing Especially after extremely hot day Come here and take a shower Ocean shower Ocean shower So because yeah. the waves here is so strong And it's just like a like wet breeze You like. can feel the mist, ocean mist Yes It's a bit like salty but refreshing feeling Yeah It looks very uh, quite aesthetically beautiful It's uh, like uh, looking uh, smoky or hazy looking uh, mist Later we show you a slow mo. We make uh, we able to catch at uh, that moment in a slow motion, so you will see it later. Here is the slow mo which Archie took. Devil's Tears is a popular tourist attraction in Nusan Lembongan. The name Devil's Tears comes from dramatic crashing waves that create an explosion of water and foam against the rock resembling tears from the devil. The waves crashing against the rocks create a stunning display of water sprays and mist that can shoot up up to 30 feet in the air. Overall, 
Devil's Tears is a must-visit destination from anyone traveling to Nusa Lembongan. The breathtaking scenery and powerful waves are truly awesome and will leave you with memories that last a lifetime. Let's explore Dream Beach. Although we already came a bit late and the sun is about to set down, we still had a great day here. Another stairs journey going down to the beach. Special feature of Bali. This beach has white sand and blue ocean. It's a great place to relax and unwind. But maybe not for swimming, as the waves are quite rough. There are some garbage around this area, maybe brought by heavy rain and strong waves. Since the sun is about to set down, I asked Archie to take some photos with me. We also saw some locals here waiting for the sunset. But we didn't stay here for quite long because we still plan to go to our next route. So let's go! We stop over to feel some petrol because it will be a long ride back home. Mostly, local sells petrol in a bottle. So if you will go far, better to do full tank or at least put some few liters when you see some local shops selling retail. We struggled finding petrol but luckily now we found some petrol <laughs> because it's like how many stores we stop and ask for petrol they say don't have so that's why we're so happy we found the petrol here. We decided to meet such an awesome sunset and Pantai Pasir Puti. While enjoying the sunset and the sound of the waves, we saw some light moving around the clouds. Initially, I thought it was UFO. Yeah, let me zoom. Yeah, looks like an airplane. Going to the to the bazaar. We decided to walk around and saw some other tourists having some bonfire, chilling with some drinks. Archie asked if we can sit with them and enjoy the bonfire. When it's getting late, we decided to say goodbye. Flashback. We decided to meet Sunset and Pantai Pusi Puti. No, Pantai Pasir Puti. We decided to meet our Sunset at Pantai Pusi. No, Pantai Pasir Puti. Pantai Pasir Puti, no okay. We decided to meet our sunset at uh, Pantai Pusi Pasir Pantin. <laughs> Pantai Pasir Puti. Okay. We decided to meet our sunset here at Pantai Pasir Puti. Yes. We decided to meet such an awesome sunset and Pantai Pasir Puti. So this is the end of our day one adventure. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to like if you enjoy watching, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. 
have a nice day thank you and we'll see you on the next one goodbye